How's it going everyone? John here and welcome to a brand new tutorial series. This is more of an introduction of what's to come for the series, but what I'm going to be doing is showing you guys how to use the Elgato game capturing software to allow you to stream on your favorite platforms that are also offered here within the software. Now whether you're using the internal or external capture card from Elgato, this software will work either way. Make sure you go to their website though to download the latest version, that way you guys have all the bells and whistles of any type of changes they've made. Now within this series, like I said, I'm going to be showing you guys how to be able to stream using this software. It's a great software, it's very light on your processor, which is also really good to have, which gives you more room to be able to do other things on your stream. Now I'm not going to be going into all the details on what you'll be able to see in this actual series, but it's going to be enough to get you guys ready and good to go for streaming. One of the great features that I will share with you guys on here for this software though, is that whenever you guys are streaming, you're also able to record it in a higher quality. So what does that mean? Simply this. If you were not streaming and you were just doing a basic recording and you were trying to get that 1080p 60 FPS like I have on there, that is what you would get as the recorded file and your encoded file, which for my live stream settings I have it set for 3, which is like 3000 kbps, and that might look a little grainy, the encoded version. So the encoded version, I probably wouldn't upload. So having the recorded version, that higher quality version of it, that's what I would use to make my highlights or montages or whatever it is you're trying to show the world that you had happened in your stream. Now that is probably one of my favorite features on here to be able to record a higher quality while streaming because I cannot do that on some of the other type of encoding uh, programs or softwares that I've used in the past for my streams. And I've had to go through that grainy, pixelated type of, you know, recorded versions that were left for me to download off of the videos on demand on whether it be Twitch or Mixer or whatnot. So that's a little, little disappointing but now that we have this guy here, I don't have to worry about that anymore. So that's just one thing I wanted to share with you guys. But before we get into any of those other videos to really show you how to use this software to really make a really awesome stream, you gotta make sure you guys have the settings right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the actual software like you guys see here. You're gonna go to the top right hand corner here where it says device. If you don't have the arrow already pointing down, if it looks like this, just go and click on it, it's going to drop down, it's going to show you which capture card you're using. And then you're going to click on the little gear that says show device settings. Now with this, you're going to go and adjust this to however you want. You can try copying my settings and see if they work for you. And if they don't, if you've found something better, let me know. I would be happy to try something else. Uh, but for right now, this works out pretty well for me. On Under the capturing tab. You, and I'm going to go through this a lot a lot more in depth, but on the capturing tab, you know, just adjust this, you know, your input device, choose your console and everything like that. The quality bar, I want you guys to know that the higher you make that, yes, the higher the quality, but also the bigger the file. So do keep that in mind. For picture, you guys can adjust this too, because at default, it looks kind of gray, a little dull. So I went and adjusted this, just kind of sit in your game and just kind of see if you can mess around with it a little bit and it changes on the fly so whatever you see on your TV it's gonna change right on the actual capturing software which is great audio I don't mess with it profiles don't mess with it and I never mess with the advanced either now you also want to make sure that you're saving all these things in the spot you're gonna find them so at the very very top right hand corner you're gonna see of course the X the square and then the underscore and then you're going to have the gear. So click on the gear. It's going to bring you to your preferences. Now, I was already in here. I was messing with stuff. Now, the advanced tab is not what you're going to hit first. Capturing is what you're going to hit first. So make sure you guys choose the library location where you're going to save the files, where you're going to export the files to, and if you have any screenshots, where the screenshot's going to go to. So make sure you guys do that. But definitely make sure you have these two boxes checked. The enable flashback recording and the enable stream command. 
The stream command is this guy right down here, right underneath your actual stream. This is where you're going to find all your overlays and stuff like that, which we will get into on a different video. For sharing, if you guys want to share, you're more than welcome to. I just kind of kept it the way it was. The only thing I added was down here for exporting in separate files because I don't feel like having to decompress anything or anything like that. I just want separate files for each. It might take up some more space, but once I'm done with the video that I'm trying to work with, then I don't have to worry about it. I can just delete them all. For updates, make sure you have automatically check for updates checked. You could have the feedback one checked if you want to and hotkeys, I don't mess with them, and advanced, we're gonna go into this on a different video. This is for the streaming portion. But I don't wanna overwhelm you guys. I just wanted to kinda of give you an introduction of what you're gonna expect in the series, and each one's gonna be pretty informative on their own. I'm gonna make them pretty easy to follow and very verbal descriptions of where to go in case you guys are just listening in and not necessarily watching. But anyways, if you guys have any questions throughout the series or even on this video, let me know in the comments and you can also reach out to me on Twitter, my Discord, my streams. You can even send me an email if you guys want to or send me a message on YouTube. There's many ways of getting in touch with me. I check these things like every day, so be sure to go ahead and reach out to me if you need to. But we're going to get you guys up and running for streaming. I appreciate you guys watching this video. You guys have a good rest of your day. Stay positive and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, take care, and as always, keep being awesome.